Roll the office meme. My God! Okay, it's happening. Everybody, stay calm. What's the procedure, everyone? What's the procedure? Stay, What's the procedure? stay calm. Wait, 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 wait. Everybody, you calm down. Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be talking about the massive crossover news. We finally got the title, there's so much to theorise about, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos as we head towards the new seasons, and also the crossover. So, they're going to be starting to shoot the crossover sometime in the next two to three weeks, because... They're going into production on the episode before the crossover episodes on The Flash, Supergirl and Arrow. But they just revealed some massive news that the crossover event that is only on the three shows excluding Legends of Tomorrow is titled Elseworlds. And when I saw this, I literally screamed. I was like, what? This is amazing. I love this title. So as you know, Elseworlds in DC Comics and in many other properties means it's a different story. It's, for example, the best example I can give is of recent years, they've been doing Elseworlds stories in the animated films for DC. Say they had Gotham by Gaslight, which was Batman in the times of Jack the Ripper, and then say they had Justice League vs Teen Titans, which was another animated film, which was in present day and was a different Batman. So that is essentially what I'm saying. They're the same property, but they're different separate stories. So it could be interpreted in many ways. I think the obvious way that you could interpret Elseworlds as the title of the crossover is that we're gonna see another world, potentially a new world we haven't seen, so maybe this teases the fact that Batwoman will be coming from another Earth rather than Earth 38 or Earth 1. That's one way you could look at it. The other way is potentially we're getting lots of different versions of these characters from the multiverse, which I think is very exciting. I think you can bring back some old characters and also you can bring in new versions of new characters, which is very exciting. I think maybe we could see like multiple Supermans, I think that would be awesome if you could see like maybe an evil version, maybe that's what they could be doing with like a twist with that Lonel character they're casting. You know, there's so many great things that they can do, I think there's many interpretations but they're just my main ones so you could bring back say, I don't know, for example you could bring back Monel as a villain or something from the Silver Earth and that's the Lonel character or something like that, I think that would be really exciting if they did that or something along those lines with all the different characters potentially bringing some back like I mentioned but yeah also they revealed a poster and the official logo for the crossover the logo is kind of cool the posters average it's nothing special I think they could have done a better job but I'm not too bothered about this because we got a really nice crossover poster a few weeks ago that was the Supergirl, Flash and Arrow one when they were all together. It was a very nice poster and I really liked it. So this poster was just made for simplicity's sake and they've just revealed the logo. I think that's the main point of this. Uh, and the logo is pretty nice overall, you know, nothing wrong with it. I think the star could be represented of something crashing to earth or potentially something up in the sky. So maybe it's to do with that Lon L character, maybe it's to do with potentially these different Earths, like Earth 38, Earth 1, coming to this different Earth with Batwoman. I think something like that would work in terms of an Elseworlds thing, because like I said, Elseworlds is the same property, the same characters, you know, it all being DC, but being disconnected in the sense of the comics and the animated films. Obviously with this, this is not going to be a separate thing. What I essentially think is happening is, is going to be different versions or just a different look at the way we see things. So I'm very excited. Hopefully we get some alternate versions of different characters. That is all I've got for you in this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys later. Goodbye. Shut free.